Stephen Croft and Alex Davis batted through the last 50 overs of the LV County Championship match with Kent in Canterbury to earn a draw and to take the necessary points to earn Lancashire promotion at the first time of asking. The visitors had it all to do to save this game, one they've been outplayed in throughout as the last morning began, with them on 47 for two after following on 311 runs behind. Their job was to bat through this day to be promoted. Ashwell Prince, the country's leading run scorer, was an ideal man to have at the crease at the start of this day, and he and Hasib Hamid did everything that was expected of them by seeing out the day's first 17 overs, in which 62 runs were added. Prince had got to 39 when he was LBW to Darren Stevens, for whom that was a 54th wicket of this championship campaign. It was then all about blocking as far as the visitors were concerned. This a very rare boundary as Lancashire got through to the lunch break on 118 for three. Hamid, an 18-year-old in just his second first-class game, had survived for nearly three and a half hours in total for his career-best 44, when in the seventh over of the afternoon session, he lost a couple of his stumps to Callum Haggett. That would have given Kent some hope of completing a fourth victory of this championship summer, but they were not to have any more successes as it was to turn out. Davis survived a strong appeal for a catch behind. While Croft also briefly encouraged Haggett after being hit on the pad. But that was about it for Kent as these two batsmen knuckled down. They fended off all that Kent could throw at them for the next three hours. Every ball that passed by without a wicket being greeted with joy in the visitors dressing room. While Lancashire have not been at their best in this contest... Perhaps a hangover after their T20 victory last weekend, few would argue that they've been the best and most consistent team in the second division this summer. Croft and Davis scored only 28 runs in 28 overs before T, but were able to open up a bit in the game's last session, knowing that the job was almost done. They showed a brilliant temperament and a solid technique throughout, with a few nicks and playing and misses, but plenty of steely determination. It was a fantastic effort from both. And both made 50s. For Croft, it was his second of a very good game for him. While Davis spent 136 deliveries over his, this his sixth boundary. For a man who more often than not likes to play some shots, this was an effort, like the one from Hamid ahead of him, which showed a lot of maturity. As Davis raised his bat, the job was nearly completed. This was the last boundary of the match, Croft surviving for 209 balls for his 72 runs and Davis getting through 153 for his 58. At 5-5 five to five with a total on 258 for 4, the captain shook hands on the draw and the 8 points Lancashire accrued was enough for them to win promotion again after being relegated last year. They now have some work to do to win the second division title though after Surrey's victory over Derbyshire. The two teams meeting next from September the 14th in Manchester for what is effectively a title decider.